I got a call and he said, I can't go to prom with you. I have asthma. Hey guys, welcome to my story time channel. So I made a video on my regular channel about quick thing about this is that I try to upload this on my story time channel and I don't know what happened to my channel. It doesn't want to log in or anything. So I'm just gonna put it on my regular channel. And about the pregnancy thing, that's next week, so don't worry about that, but I will post it. About pregnancy and how to tell you're pregnant, stuff like that. If you want to check that out, go check it out. I'll put it down below. I'll put it in the link below. But anyway, this is a story time that I mentioned in the other video. Hi, welcome to my story time channel. Now, I have a couple videos here, but I like to share my stories. They're fun, you know? So, this is a story about how I got stood up for prom. So, when I was in Phoenix, I met a guy online because, obviously, I'm thirsty. <laughs> so, this was like two years ago when I went to high school. I went to prom with this guy, um, but back forward. Back, 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 back. <laughs> So, when I was in Phoenix, oh, no, back when I was a fetus in 11th grade, I think it was, it was 12th grade, what the heck, it was two years ago, oh my god, I'm old, anyway, so two years ago, I uh, had prom, <laughs> so I was, let's back, backwards this, let's just go back, so I met a guy via online, and I was in Phoenix and I texted him and I was like, hi, what's up? He's like, hey, what's up? His name was, let's say his name was Derek because Derek is a douchey name. So he was like, my name is Derek. No offense to all Derek's. <laughs> he was like, my name is Derek. And I was like, hi, Derek, what's up? And then we just started talking and we talked a lot this day and we talked a lot in well, when I came back to Vegas. So he decided to want to meet me in person and I was like, okay. So, he bought me a subway. <laughs> Funny that I went that subway, but anyway. He bought me a subway. He went all the way to my store. If you guys don't know me, my parents own a store. He went all the way to my store and we said... So, there's this little ice cream parlor that's close to my store. So, we went and sat there and we talked about life. We talked about everything. And I ate my subway that he brought me. And it was really cool, you know. So, he was a really cool guy. And I was like, oh. You know, whatever. So we talked on the phone a lot too. And he said, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I said, not so fast. Like, what the heck? We just know each other for four days. And he said, yeah, but I believe that we get to, like, get to know each other as we go. As we, you know, progress this relationship. Oh, sorry. And I was like, sure, whatever, you know. So we became boyfriend and girlfriend. Now, I wanted to tell my parents about him and stuff like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We became boyfriend and girlfriend, like I think a day or two after we met in person, prom came up. Now my friend had a boyfriend too, and her boyfriend asked her to prom, and I'm like, okay, cool, you know. So, I wanted a prom date, and I wanted to go to prom since like fourth grade, like come on, prom is like the thing. So I was like, I'm going to go to prom, you know. So I asked Derek, I was like, hi, I was wondering if you want to go to prom with me, my school prom. He didn't go to the same school with me. And he was like, I don't know. I'm like, are you sure? And like, I kept convincing him and he said, I don't know, I don't know, which is a huge red flag. Then another thing was that he was like, oh, I don't have the proper attire. I don't know and stuff like that. But then he finally said yes. So when he said yes, I bought the ticket with my parents' money. I bought the ticket, his and mine, which was a lot of money, and I bought myself a dress. And I put on my makeup and everything, and he kept changing his mind. And I'm like, you cannot change your mind now because I already bought the tickets. So he was like, there's no way back now. <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, so I put my prom dress. I was like, all ready. I was like, yes. And then when I was putting on my shoes, I got a call, and he said, I can't go to prom with you. I'm like, why? He's like, I have asthma. I have asthma. I have asthma. I have asthma. So I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, I can't go out of the house because I have asthma. I was like, boy, I have a best friend who has asthma and he went to prom. 
So I was like, you know what, whatever. So he said, I had to break up with you too because I have asthma and you don't understand me. I'm like, fine, break up with me then. I don't care. So he broke up with me and I was like all hurt and everything. But I was on my way to prom where I was going to meet him up. And I was already there. So I started crying. I was like, well, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever. So this is the part that my parents don't know. Now we're reaching to another part. So I had a friend. Let's say his name was Larry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I had a friend named Larry, and I was so hurt, and I was like, I can't be here. I saw all these people. These people are like dancing and having a good time there was no food there by the way guys if you know me like why isn't there no food like no comfort food no food at all like it was just snacks and those were not even the good snacks it was just stupid snacks and if you know me i am deandra and i eat food so i was sad i was like there's no food this party sucks and i saw my ex there like i'm right here with my friends like i'm like they're trying to like make me feel better and I was like oh, I'm so hurt and then I see my ex and my ex is like and then I saw what was I see I saw like a bunch of people you know and like I didn't want to be there it was too dark and it was like all lights everywhere I didn't like it I really don't like it and then my friend's boyfriend gave me a big ass speech about boyfriend in high school and how I shouldn't have one or whatever. Literally the guy is dating my friend in high school. Oh my god, I'm dead. Because uh. I'm school, blah, 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 which is true. But I was like hurt. I was like, what the heck? I just got stood up for prom, the biggest event of my life. And I got stood up because of asthma. So anyway, so I called my friend Larry and I was like, hey, I can't be here no more. And he was like, why? I can't be here no more, man. I got stood up because of asthma. And he's like, what the hell? I'm like, I know. So then he's like, you want me to pick you up? I was like, maybe. So he decided to pick me up. So we were, we went to Panda Express. I work there now. <laughs> I work there now, which is funny. So we went to Panda Express and we shared Panda he bought me some panda and I was like crying and then I was thinking like he was a really good friend like he really was a good friend so I went to the bathroom and I like I cleared my whole face up because my hair face was full of makeup because of prom so my face was like all ugly and then I was like I could do this I could do this <laughs> so I came out and then his car got like broken down and I was like are you freaking kidding me so he had so he had to fix his ratchet ass car because it was parked in panda it was in, like 12 in the morning I was sad about prom and I just got some panda and then he had to fix his car so he called up a friend and his friend came over and he helped him with the car and I'm right here like looking at him like oh my god I'm wearing my prom dress I look like a mess and I'm not even wearing that much makeup my false lashes fell out and like it was just a mess like it was horrible and then he was like you know what um, I'm gonna take you home I'm like okay so he decided to take me home and we went home that's it <laughs> Okay, fine. I'm gonna tell you. So we were in um, we were fixing his car, I guess. And I was inside his car, and I was listening to oldies. If you guys know me, oldies are the best thing in the world. So I was listening to oldies, and he came in and he started kissing me, and we were just kissing. And like, I thought I liked him, but I don't. <laughs> so anyway, that's the story about how I got rescued, I got set up, and I got kissed. <laughs> So, if you guys want to listen to more weird story times about this stuff, oh my god, it's crazy. But anyway, um, I have way more story times out there. I just don't have time sometimes because I have to work and everything. But if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And go check out my other video where I talk about pregnancy and tease pregnancy and if you're scared. Again, I haven't posted that video until next week. But enjoy this video and stay tuned for next week. Go 
check it out. So, I, I got you guys. Um, so, bye. I hope you guys have had a great prom day. I know I didn't. <laughs> okay, bye everyone.